What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today we have a ton of news that happened in the community, so let's get right into it everyone. Our first story is coming from Keemstar. Keemstar tweeted out saying, The Drama Alert award show will be mid-December. Finally, gamers and commentators will get the respect they deserve. So, when I read this tweet, and I'm sure a lot of you as you read this tweet, a lot of you may have thought to yourselves, is he actually joking? Is he being serious? And honestly, guys, I'm not sure if he's being serious, but actually I'm hoping that he does do something like this with an award show from Drama Alert. I think that would absolutely be amazing. Uh, and I think this may be a joke. The reasoning is because the streamies just ended up happening and there was a lot of a lot of controversy around who were who was getting chosen, who was when, you know, who won the awards. A lot of different stuff was happening with that. So this may just be a joke, everyone, and he might just be making fun of the streamings. But at the same time, if he actually does a Drama Alert award show, I think that would be absolutely amazing. So Keem, I really hope that you do it, man. That would be an amazing award show for gamers and commentators, and that'd be that'd quite uh, that'd be a lot of fun for a lot of people. But moving on, everyone, to the next story. This is actually in regards to Phase Rug. He tweeted out saying, "Just hit one million followers. Thank you guys so much." I couldn't be any happier. So Rug hit 1 million followers. That is insane, guys. Congratulations, Rug. It's a very well-deserved man. A million followers is definitely nothing just to take lightly, but congratulations. It's a very well-deserved man. He is absolutely killing it on YouTube, and he definitely deserved it. Moving on to the next story, guys. This is actually in regards to Modern Warfare Remastered, and so obviously a lot of people have a lot of people on PS4 who pre-ordered on PS4 and such, they get first access to the campaign 30 days early, and a lot of people are posting a lot of different videos and such. Soar Crude, one of the overall leaders of Soar, he ended up posting a video called The First Trick Shot on Modern Warfare Remastered, and this trick shot was absolutely awesome, guys. Uh, so he was just obviously playing the campaign and he was just trick shotting and it was really neat to see this trick shot and just to see kind of that you can trick shot on Modern Warfare Remastered and actually looks really cool because they actually made the sensitivity higher and such and that gets me into my next thing which is in regards to Charlie Intel they made a video talking about combat record bots and more that have been that are going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered's multiplayer. So I thought that this was really interesting. So the combat record, the bots are back. And like I said, with the actual sensitivity, they actually made it go from, I believe it was 10 now up to 20. So 20 is the sensitivity now. And you can definitely see that, especially with Crude. I'm sure his sensitivity was pretty pretty high on, on when he hit that first trick shot, but because you can just, see, it just looks like it was. But that being said, it's awesome to see that you can trick shot. It looks so clean. It looks so sick. Now bounces and such have not been confirmed yet, guys. But with that being said, I still think that there is a lot of things that they're really trying trying to make better about call about Modern Warfare Remastered than about the original, not only just the graphics and such, there's a lot that they're trying to do, which I think is really great. Moving on to the next story, guys, this is actually in regards to Gears of War. So, Variety posted a article, and in there it says that Gears of War movie adaption in works at Microsoft Universal. If you read this article, it says the film adaptation announced during a live stream for the upcoming release of Gears of War 4 is being developed with Universal Pictures under the eye of veteran film producers Scott Stuber and Dylan Clark. A movie based on the popular third-person sh shooter franchise has been rumored for years, but Rod Ferguson, studio head of game developer The Coalition, said now was the right time to make the leap to film. As a way to support the franchise, the next logical step was to make the movie, Ferguson told Variety. We'd done comics and novels in the past, but the opportunity to work with Universal to bring the movie to life was perfect. It's unclear at this point whether the film will be a straight adaptation of the games, which originally followed the soldier Marcus Phoenix in his fight against an invading threat known as the Locust, or if it will be an all-new story set in the universe. So with that being said, guys, I think what would be really neat is if they followed Marcus Phoenix because he's such an iconic character from Gears of War. I played a lot of Gears of War. As time went on, I, I kind of slowed down with playing Gears of War and played more Call of Duty, but Gears of War is a fantastic game, and I think that this is a great thing. Now, here's the thing, is that the track record of making video games into movies has been absolutely awful up to this point. They have not made any good video game movies. Now, Assassin's Creed may be a different thing, 
Warcraft, I was not impressed with, and Hitman and all these other games that were turned into movies are just, were just not that good, to be quite honest with you guys. That's just my personal opinion. Now, I know that all film is subjective, so your opinion may not be the same as mine, and that doesn't mean that my opinion is better than yours, but at the same time, I just think that overall, generally speaking, people have not liked video games that have been turned into movies at this point. So hopefully Gears of War can kind of make a turn and that would be really awesome because I'm very excited that they're going to be doing this. What do you guys think in the comment section below? What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to follow Marcus Phoenix's footsteps or do you think they're going to do a completely new story in the universe? And with that being said, guys, let's move on to the last topic. This is in regards to L7. L7 picked up a new member to their studio. His name is Tom. Congratulations, Tom, on joining L7. And with all that stuff being said, guys, that is going to end off the video for the day. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive. And as always, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.